So, you guys have kind of gotten to see me live throughout the, few, the last few days. Um, I haven't filmed quite everything, but tomorrow's a really big day. I feel like I've been working for this. I mean, I have been working for this since 2016. In 2016, I, I had no idea what any of this was. All of those things brought me to here. And then with my competitive nature, it just kind of took off from there. And it's insane just looking back. Like I feel like I'm doing this for that girl that literally knew nothing. And she just like found like a, a passion for all of this. So like that is the entire product. Like tomorrow is the product of all of that. And I have my people here with me. I have all my people at home. Um, I'm the only Texas girl in this entire show, so like I feel a lot of my friends from home and all the gyms I go to and stuff, they're all like texting me and I just want to say, if you guys are watching this, I appreciate you and I appreciate all of the strangers even. Every Everything you guys say means so much to me and I just want to, sorry I'm like getting hot and emotional, and I just want to um, make you guys proud tomorrow and I hope I do. guys it's show day I'm so excited I woke up at 104 flat so we were trying to put on a little bit of weight from my low 102 weigh in and um, we, d we obtained that so I will show you after my face actually matches my body um, after my makeup basically and I'll show you guys a good check-in but we're starting it is 5:22 a.m. Um, so at home is it 4.22 at home? Oh, Jesus. 4.22 a.m. at home. Um, right now, I get a cup of coffee, I get some tilapia, an egg, and jasmine rice. So I'm looking at it as um, tilapia fried rice. That's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> and then we're headed to Starbucks so I can get my regular espresso, my Americano that I usually drink at home, bring in my own creamer. And then from Starbucks, I go to makeup, and then after makeup, I'll be back. So, like this, nice, waist is tight. Oh, I guess that's kind of my suit reveal, but I'll show you later. Yeah, yeah, a little flat, we're gonna need some more. Kerrigan, uh, so the whole, yesterday Kerrigan woke up at 102.8, which was way too low, a little, a little much, but um, the whole we figured we would yes yeah, look very strange we figured we would uh, be around 105 this season and this morning which is the day of we woke up at 104 um, and she just needed a little bit of food and this year um, she's basically been walking around uh, how would you say just holding less water the whole time so if last year she was 110 in the morning and then like we had we had to do manipulate water which we don't do anymore she's what were you like maybe 108 ish last probably. night no junior naps 107.9 107.9 and so she's walking around holding less water and she's 104. It's, i go to sleep it's at perfect. my last stage right? yeah it, it's perfect so she's gonna we're gonna have about 100 carbs before she's on stage water every meal um it's it's cruise control now i mean yeah, three. We did it right. Yeah, it's just it, right now. She's just gonna get better. I told her every, every time you get in this situation, um, you always look better by the end of day, which is usually it's so scary for her because we're like, oh gosh, yeah. You know, we don't want to push it, but we could. It's so easy for me to lose detail in my glutes. Yeah, but she's I'm not. That was kind of the test. Was yesterday we we saw her last night, the end of day at one o eight, and um, her she lost no detail, so it's it's nice. Well, we'll see what she looks like, and I know on stage lights like. Kieran always looks better in stage lights compared to like progress. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I'm feeling pale. Yeah, it, it might be a little much, but that's fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Suit reveal. It's blue. It's blue and black, actually. Okay, check it. Switch places. That look really good. Mm -hmm. There's no pump go through. You have shoulders again. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is gonna be fun. What do you think? That's it. Good. <laughs> Your shoulder is like double inside. It's is funny. that good? Yeah, it's really good. You didn't have them like three days ago. <laughs> I'm doing it towards your mouth. Destiny Riposta from Orlando. Sorry, wrong number. 152, Jody. Yeah. 135, Maria. 137, Janine. And 139, Michelle. Let's do 180, face that back wall. Let's do 
literally hit the stage and I, I literally in my in the first comparisons I could not stop shaking um, in my routine it was a little bit better but I feel like all of that calmness comes with um, experience honestly so I'm I thought I, I thought it was pretty good my routine I, mean, class, I, 27, I thought my routine was good not, not I thought it was like 30 something was it yeah. okay I got second call outs and then I got moved into another group that was so just a comparison. It wasn't a call out. They were yeah I know it's not a call out or it's not a call out but I got compared next to more people so like I've just learned as a pro you can get called back and forth as many times as she wants you to see you and uh, yeah so I got like those looks and then I feel like just like looking around and I'm gonna look at the stage pictures and stuff, but I actually feel like I'm on the small side for sure. Like significantly. So all of you guys have said I was too big for the key. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think when my up well I'll go over this all later when I actually get feedback from her actually, so I'll wait. But we have to we will get rejudged at finals. So it's still not over and I don't know I'm just glad I can take a deep breath again and enjoy this day but we're all good yeah. <laughs> Back, back, back. So, 
Let's talk about my suit real quick. This is an annual competition bikini suit. We actually changed it at the last second. This is a medium sized top, even though I have no boobs, and it's a ton of stuffing in there. Um, so just made it, you know, like, and the bottom is their new cut. It's the Olympian cut, so it's definitely very, very small. If you're an amateur, I wouldn't recommend getting this because they usually like their suits out like that. But it seems like, like a bunch of pros were wearing it, so I was like, okay, well, I don't want to look like I'm wearing granny panties in comparison on stage. <laughs> so I got it too. Um, but obviously blue and black. I like the rich colors. I feel like it complements the hair. And then here's my room. And shoes are the Shoe Fairy, um, the newest Olympians. They're goddess Olympians, yeah. So, love. Whole fit today was fire. <laughs> all right, we're going to finals. So we all took a nap. I don't think I've blacked out like that in so long. Like, you know the sleep is good when you wake up with just lines all over your face. So I tried to fix my makeup the best I could, but I'm gonna take a look inside. Anyway, riding into finals like, Presentations and I'm like, dude, and I'm like, I, hold on one second. I'm like, you have to. I, I tell anybody that wants to go pro, I'm like, dude, if I'm five three and I got to 200. I'm trying to make this you chicken really sandwich work. work. No. So, so in between uh, for judging and now, I had a Chick fil A grilled chicken sandwich. Looks like it'll be about. Yes. I was like, let's just pull in the fullness, right? Like, we need fullness. And I won. I was right. You got that whole. So I'm glad I ate the damn sandwich. Yeah. And uh, I'm just, I feel like I'm already able to get a better pump right now. I was having a hard time earlier, so it's really cool. It's really cool data. Maybe next time I'll be able to like load on like a burger or something. Like, sounds risky, but if it's what my body needs. Yeah.
Houston. Um, so I'm going to do a little recap with Brandon here since I know you guys like to hear Brandon's perspective and obviously I want to hear my coach's perspective. What I, I just want to know your thoughts on how I looked, the show, and then kind of what we're doing moving forward. So Carrie looked great. Um, there aren't any a lot of things I would have changed just because we knew that uh, we'd have to be conservative. Um, when we decided to pick on the Girl Power Show, uh, we had to dig hard. The hardest, even more than last year at Junior Nats. And um, when you do that, s some people will respond to carbs in a good way. And, uh, you know, you can just go to the moon because they just start burning your food. Like when you load. Yeah, when you load. And, um, and uh, we had to push basically for fat loss until Wednesday before the show. You yeah, usually we start around Monday peak week and do kind of a linear load. It's very casual. So, from the, the if you look at how she looked, I mean, she looked great, but she was flat. And for the first time in our time working with Kerrigan, she needed more food and she was burning through it too fast. Usually when um, we deplete hard and we start bringing carbs back in, she honestly gets pretty full on like 160 to 180 carbs. Yeah. And um, because she's, you know, so depleted, but this time, she her she kept losing weight. Yeah, she kept losing weight. So when we, we flew in on Tuesday, I mean, right? And flew in on Tuesday, and then I woke up at. She got down to 103 flat, basically. 102.8. But that was after all the other rest of your weigh-ins. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it Is was it was probably like a 103 a real because she she always takes her weight before bowel movement. That that time it was after, 
it, and, it just worked out that way. Yeah, so she um she so she realistically was probably about one hundred three point four, and I think the sweet spot was one hundred five. That's that was where we were right around six days out, give or take. And I think um, that was my best look. Yeah, sure. and and also now we've. I now know too, just I, you know, everything, I'm always learning as well, the bikini division. I now know that the back pose isn't as lean as I think it is. Like you can, mm -hmm. what I think, what I used to think is necessary, no, dude, that's that's not what they want. And you know, it, it may be what's necessary at national shows, but yeah, it's you, different. Yeah, it's and pro, actually it's weird. different. And pro, this is the best, oh, this is the most accurate thing too, is that in a going pro, like at nationals and amateur, it's all about conditioning and all about showing crazy lines. But so when you go pro, it's not really conditioning, it's fullness and just overall shape. No, it was actually crazy to see like everybody backstage, like, you know, even at national shows, I'm like, damn, I'm like I'm backstage, like, am I lean enough, am I lean enough? And you know, I never was truly where I should have been mm -hmm. lean enough, even when I went pro. But like, when I was backstage this time, I was like, dang, I'm like right on the money. Like I'm, yeah. I'm there, I, and I just felt, kind of small yeah honestly. and but it was but it wasn't small the, the fact that we can we have three or four <coughs> pounds that we can work with means that we can make her look dramatically different if um if this was like the perfect peak and she was just like popping everywhere veins and stuff then i would say man you are too small but i, I don't think that's the case I, we talked yeah. to a couple other coaches too and they agreed with us but another you know going on her point too um yeah i mean out of kerrigan placed 14th and i want to say nine of them were less conditioned than her it's not just yeah, about it's really striations just not yeah just it's about it's so that. different and um but um she has we're excited because i want to see where we we're gonna have what can we talk about how many shows it is this year or what yeah i mean we're we have three more targets and um the next one we're full sending fullness like i mean we're gonna the goal is actually to she's three weeks out we're actually gonna reverse into it um you know when you have no carbs for two weeks almost so we're starting mm -hmm. starting pretty moderate here she's you know we're cutting her cardio by almost like 30 percent and hopefully she, we, she gets to eat this whole week and then we'll raise food next week then we'll start loading on monday at peak week and uh, by then man you really might start hitting like 350 carb days so yeah that's all notice, hypothetical though like at the end of this peak week so like like you said when i was adding food i was actually still dropping weight um, but I noticed even in the gym and like in sessions, like these videos look really good, but I will say it was harder for uh, me to achieve a pump. I had to in the, actually go way heavier than I thought. And on, yeah, and plus, dude, they were lasting like eight minutes. Yeah, and when you but can, I you, would literally go to the bathroom and come back and be like, Whoa. Yeah, and if you compete, <laughs> if you compete, everybody that knows this, you get a pump and then you wait in line for 30 minutes. <laughs> the cool part about the pros is that every show is uh, experiment, really. And even though I've been working with Kerrigan for a long time, this is a different Kerrigan. Yeah, it, it's a, I, I've never had a, a Kerrigan that was conditioned enough. <laughs> so, yes. so, yeah. so it's yeah. That's so true. We take weight AM, we take weight PM, we take weight after meals and certain when you get really close to the show. So I know that 105.8, she was stellar, and yeah. I think that realistically anything between 105 and 105.8 is exactly where I want her to be on Monday of peak week, and then we can load. So I want her to go on stage probably around 106 to 107, versus the, at um, Girl Power, she woke up at 104. So when you're- Yeah, which we weren't really, like, like I said, we no, burned through that food. So, yeah, when I and, weighed in, I was like, oh, And I honestly, okay. so we're gonna go in, dude, she's gonna go at least, I wanna say, three to four pounds heavier, and, now that she's con it used to be in the past that whenever we had so much food her um back pose was never it I would fade it would just fade so and fast. if that would but now when she's so conditioned enough and that that's not a worry so now i can really push it and if anything it'll make her glutes look bigger make it look harder and fuller so we're really excited yeah so i remember um just like it, there was a couple of different comments like i guess like from other people and you know putting myself in the public eye i'm always going to get these different speculations and stuff um first of all like i'm 100,000 percent not too big not even the, close. not even close not like even, i could literally yeah. add social, pounds social of muscle media is to so, my frame it's so dilu i like i'm not i don't mean to insult yeah, no any of you little girls that are with dreams but like dude nobody at your gym is too big for bikini unless like like dude, these girls are jacked man and that's coming yeah. from me like it, it's just you can 
I think you can easily have too big of legs. Yeah, but you can also another or an outstanding body part. But it's also so much about the whole look that we have friends that competed with her. That I mean, they are big girls, but because it's symmetrical and it works, they don't tell them to get lose muscle. Mm -hmm. They just say to kind of bring up some things and stuff. It's not. Yeah. There's so many looks <clears throat> at the pro level. It truly is about how it looks on you. It is not trying to look like the standard and all that stuff. No. Oh yeah, you go. That I mean, I've already seen comments like, "Oh, I think you should have won." Like, no, no. no I, 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 you go look at all of the girls that beat me, and they all look completely different from one another. But it works for their bodies, yeah. and it's insane. Like, some of them are super shredded. Some of them are super jacked and kind of soft. Like, it. It's absolutely insane the difference between physiques and. I just honestly applaud the judges for being able to even have a bikini standard, like a criteria that they follow, because I see it. They they really do follow it, but they individualize it from person to person, and I think that's really interesting. Um, I'm just learning more about the sport as we go, honestly, but I'm just happy to see kind of where I stand, um, and I'm honestly glad, like, I... I like that my feedback, literally my only feedback was mature. So you get that like mature maturity level or that growth level either by an off season or by coming in fuller, like what we're going to do. But I was literally told like, keep going this year. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to grow, grow. Like if you get feedback and you're just small, then you should probably go into an off season. But that wasn't my feedback. Yeah. And, and, and the, if really you funny. come, if she comes in super full and they tell the same thing, then they, then yeah, that it means to add muscle. Yeah. That's just straight up, yeah, that's not. So to like sum it all up, basically what we, we've we achieved all of the conditioning, like the, that was my number one goal. Like just don't tell me I'm still too soft to be on this stage. Like if I would have brought my junior nationals physique, which actually looked more muscular in my opinion, oh, when did. you put them yeah. side by side, that was six pounds heavier than what I went on stage this year. But if I would have brought that junior nationals physique, I would have gotten last That means she would have looked four weeks out. Yeah, I would have yeah. looked four weeks out for sure. So, so now so we're like, going to kind of go in between. And um, yeah, like I said, it's... Yeah. That fullness is a real thing. And I mean, going from flat to full, I, I, I'd say, I think we're probably like, honestly, maybe 75, 80%. Mm -hmm. And I'm... You'll see, when y'all see those pictures, you can actually look at the stage shots of the girls who competed. The biggest difference is, you know, those <laughs> girls got. I love how they tell you not to have like veins. Yeah, their veins are I popping know, on I'm their like, bicep. You know what? I'm their just shoulders, make them show the shoulders are easily. popping. So Kerrigan's gonna look a lot. The whole, literally, the goal of Shreveport is honestly to make her look as big as possible. Yeah. And we might miss, but we'll find out. <laughs> we might miss. So if y'all see me kind of jump. Yeah, we're there. gonna we're, we're full sending it. We're gonna full send it, yeah. but we're like. All of this, I think the beauty of being a pro is, you know, there's not just five national shows that I'm trying to go pro at, like as an amateur. There's shows every weekend. So you can just test it and gather data until you find what works for yeah. you. Like, and I know my conditioning is on point now. I think my muscle level is well, there. Of course, there's always improvements that you can make there. But the, it's an experiment. The now. biggest takeaway is that what I like might be like hard muscle and some like super dry look <laughs> we might actually do something with her make her soft and full and she might get first call out so basically anything i like is irrelevant now oh and yeah the, her look now cool. the look that we will keep doing the look they want even though it might not have been what we thought about so. yeah we know what we like but i think that just comes with our personalities and like i mean you guys you guys see how i train it's not it, it's not like a lot of i'm not bagging on anyone everybody has their coaches that tell them what to do and they do it you know they train how they do they eat how they do whatever but like i i think i train like a bodybuilder like hell-bent on trying to get you just like to be strong that's yeah right. i just like to be strong you know so i think that's the beauty of this if i do still have to add size after whatever i'm told um i like bodybuilding yeah. i've been the most and patient even person if, even ever. if even if it is size that after the season I can tell you right now, we just, we, we need eight months, <laughs> max. <laughs> Honestly, uh, we could probably do it in six, I but. Mean, I made a huge physique change from yeah, when I we, went pro it to would now. Be, like, if you guys look at these pictures side by side, like just the width of my back is yeah. very different. But 
Moving into this next show on my end, so I just do whatever he says food cardio training wise. On my end, I handle a lot of my presentation, my poise. Um, there were, I kind of analyzed my posing routine, which it was originally, like the original choreograph was by my coach, but then I honestly haven't talked to her since January. I just felt, I, I felt right taking over my stuff and I just wanted to see what worked on my physique, what I thought about it. So I watched the video and there's just a few very, very small tweaks that I'm excited to like show on stage next time. Uh, suit was great. Another a thing about my hair. So I have a lot of hair on my head and I have a huge head. So if my upper body looks small, it depends. It, 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 it's a ratio we thing. We were considered because it, it, you were I talking was about straight hair. I was considering more, straightening my but if, hair. But if she looks, if she's looking full like on yeah. Monday, Tuesday, then it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's little like tweaks and stuff that you can do. Like, I mean, I still have a red suit from last year. Like, I'm still going to wear blue at the next one. I really, really love this look. I hope you guys liked it too. But, um,. There's just a lot I can do, but I'll share more on obviously YouTube, Instagram, all these things. And I'm super excited. I feel like the jitters are like gone and I'm calm now. Maybe I can actually sleep because I didn't sleep for like a week. Anything else you want to say? <clears throat> no, I, I, not really. I, I mean, I'm excited because I think that this last, the debut was, I mean, that was perfect. The stage shot, you look great. But I think mm -hmm. we had to get through that to kind of get through this jitters and even me as a coach you know I'm not gonna I don't want to take some risk but now with Louisiana I feel like it's going to be like 100% Kerrigan as a pro and it might be like 120 and then we'll pull back and then be 100 after that <laughs> but I, yeah. I mean yeah it's it'll be cool to really just like yeah there's just no um I don't know what I'm saying I'm just uh, <laughs> no you're good food Food. Food was actually the key, and the cool part has never been the key for me before. So, um, but that's what happens when you deplete as hard as I did and actually get as lean as I did. Typically, a leaner physique oh, I mean, dude, they can saw, handle more food. They saw the pictures yeah. when we were in Florida training. She was, it was disgusting. It was like, gross. it was from all the way from <laughs> Monday to Thursday. Honestly, Friday morning even, it, she was just way too hard. She was so depleted. Yeah, even if you look at those check-ins. Yeah, right? she was so depleted. She was just like, it, it wasn't <clears> even <throat> about the the veins or anything. It was just that she just looked kind of kind of lifeless. Yeah, no, I, I felt very stringy. Even when I was sending check-in pictures and stuff, he's like, yeah. are you like, like slashing your shoulders? I was like, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be and, broad and right and now. We, and it just wasn't We happening. were pushing food. We started pushing food on Wednesday and... We were trying and trying, and then, um, like I said, yeah. I mean, it, we got up around, like, I think it was around 180 carbs the day before, and then the day of, we did around 100, but... And you guys got, you all have to remember, I also add veggies, so... Yeah, oh, add, I mean, you add about 40 carbs. Yeah, so it wasn't by, by <laughs> any means, but I'm talking, like, now we Thanks. know we can really um, push it, too, because we saw how she woke up this morning after hibachi and all that stuff, and... <laughs> There's definitely a film of water. Yeah, yeah. It, I was but, only three pounds heavier. But it wasn't it wasn't terrible that means that we don't have to do that but if we did something like 50 percent of that it's it would look that, really honestly, good honestly this morning still beats junior nuts kerrigan yeah pretty close yeah pretty close but anyway i think that's enough explanation um i hope you guys enjoyed this two-part video series i know it's been like long anticipated and um i just appreciate all of y'all watching these things just like what i put out because we put a lot of work into this and romel puts a lot of work into this so i'm glad it helps but anything else you want to say before we wrap it up mm -mm. No, okay no. so there's three weeks out uh as of yesterday three weeks out as of yesterday 20 days 20 days Whew. oh god 20 days and um it's easy no it's great i'm excited like it's just excited i feel like we're like into the thick of it now anyway um i had my fun food not a ton of it no more um, zero carb days no more zero carb days i mean, I mean Thank i'm not no promises Jesus. But. yeah okay it'll probably happen honestly but we'll see and that's it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for all your support um 14th is a good start i think i'm gonna do a lot better and the goal is to be better than 14th the goal is to be better than 14th we yeah. i have been a person that has taken baby steps upwards in rankings like as an amateur for years i am not impatient but 
I am like hell bent on being better. Than 14th, that. 7th, three and a half, one point seven five. Yeah. Just like when I went eight, eight four, four two, one. second. <laughs> it's just now she's gonna it's gonna be in between. I don't know how that'll work, but <laughs> we're, we're just gonna figure it out. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to ask any questions below, please drop me a comment. Just <clears throat> I appreciate y'all. And uh, let's keep going on Momentum season two. Thanks.